couple of you have asked me if we do any no-till, and this is my answer to that. Here we got a soybean, a farm that was in soybean, and we got a hay strip down on the lower half. Now they came through and sprayed this earlier this week, so all the alfalfa is dying off. Now we're coming through and planting it down to corn. We're leaving what's flagged down there is what's in waterway. So we're keeping our waterways, but we're taking down the field a little bit more towards the woods because the landowner cleaned it out so we can fit a few more passes in there. Now not all planters are equipped with row cleaners. If you look at these rows, there's a spike on the planter in front of the actual seating unit. What those spikes do is that they clean out all the trash that's down on the ground so that you can no-till into debris such as this. And you can see, now the furrow is right here, and then when those spikes came through they pushed all the trash and debris off to the side on each side. So it cleans it out and it pushes out to the side so that they can put the seed in the ground and then it gives the plant a pathway to come back up through when it starts growing. No-tilling is usually better to help slow erosion. Uh, it keeps some of the compaction in the ground so that when it rains the dirt is kind of held together and it's not as loose as when you till it. So if you got some hilly areas, no-till is usually a good thing to go with. And we usually no-till into beans and we haven't done much of it this year and this farm is one that I'm doing. We came through and broadcasted down the fertilizer, but I'm not incorporating the fertilizer. So we'll see how well it performs this year. I'm not too worried about it. Just We've had plenty of rain moisture in the ground, so everything's looking good right now. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Stay real quiet. Maybe she won't see us.
There you have it, folks. We're officially done with corn for the year.